Today I thought I'd have a little look into motion tracking in Blender. So um, me and the family took a little trip to the Forest of Dean, Forest of Dean, Wentwood. It's a little place in Wales, nice little countryside. Uh, we took some video of it, which is um, what you can see in the background here. I took a little few different scenes and a couple of different videos that I thought I might be able to use for this when we were going through. But some of them were a bit difficult because they have lots of things in front of the image. So if there's like bushes or trees in front of where you want a thing, you have to mask them all out. So that was a bit tricky. But then we came across this little clearing here, um, which was really nice. So it had a few bushes in front, which um, did limit the amount of clips I could use for this. So as you see, the bush comes in front here. But um, there's a nice bit where I got the, the laying down tree trunk and then the tree trunks around, um, which I thought I could, you know, I could get something on. This is my uh, guy here. He um, doesn't have any colour to him at the moment, but um, we added to that. It's only a little five second clip, um, but we got him tracking nicely, so if we watch that again. He sits on the bench nicely. My modelling skills are to be, you know, to be improved upon, but um, that's that's all good. Um, I then coloured him um, and gave him some lighting. So, you know, he looks half decent. He looks like a, a Roblox guy just came out and just... The Minecrafty Roblox guy just came and sat on my bench in the park or <laughs> fallen tree in the park. But it came out pretty good um, as far as my first uh, motion tracking project's gone. So I'll just open up the project here quickly. It's a less of a tutorial kind of what I did and showed you, but I'll uh, we'll have a little look through the project and you can see what I've done. So here's the project opened up. You can see our little guy there. I've just um, turned off the camera and background. If I go into the scene view here, you can then see it and then it pops on in the background and you can kind of see what we're working with. So um, if I go into the textured view here, I am working on my laptop so it's a bit slow, but there he is, our little guy. And if I zoom around, you can see these all these little dots here are our tracking uh, points. So these tracking points are all the bits from the video. So if I open up the tracking, motion tracking, this, if you watch the tutorial, because I couldn't go into detail enough, if you watch like a tutorial on this, it says track the, the hell of it, I tra track the hell out of it, and that's what I had to do, I basically went along and every like other frame, I put in like loads of markers, I track them, and they get lost because the scene moves so much, even in this like little five second scene, so I couldn't imagine doing like a really long scene because this took me like you know hours just to like put the tracking markers in track it forward it loses all the markers then you track it forward some more track it back all that crazy stuff so those are all the markers then you get your plane and you can add to that um and then you put your guy on there and it all works nicely so then we um i rented out the first scene so that's what you can see there then let's go back into this view so this is what you can see that's like the one rendered image. If we just render that one frame, as you can see, it takes a second, but then our guy pops on, and then the scene. So, as you can see, this is so overexposed, it's terrible. It's looked like I never used a camera in my life. But um, aside from that, you know, if we could actually get a nice scene, I was thinking about using something from like um, stop motion uh, story blocks or something like that. Um, but this works just fine for now, and as you can see, the animation came out okay. Um, I want to do some better stuff with the modeling, and um, the, but I'm pretty impressed because the tracking was what I was going for here, and I'm pretty happy with the tracking. It looks very good in my opinion. So yeah, as you can see, he's really solid on that log. He actually looks like he's sat on there. Well, I suppose you know, apart from the fact that he looks like a Roblox character. Um, so that's, so that's that. If you want any takeaways from this, make sure you add a ridiculous amount of tracking markers, especially to a scene like this. Um, the contrast was hard because obviously you can see there's not a lot of um, detail. It's only HD video, but you can the rocks and stuff like that, those were the best parts to get. Some leaves, some markers on the tree, those were really good ones to mask out by yourself. And then, um, you know, trying to match the lighting. I'm never going to match this. It looks like a freaking bomb's going off or something. But... Um, yeah, other than that, worked well, and um, that's why I'm working on so far. If you do enjoy little videos like this, give it a like, 
and maybe subscribe to the channel to check out the other tech stuff we're doing uh, tutorials, little project brief videos like this and um, devlogs so you can stick around and have a look